to sing with Miss Tammy. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> Woo! All right, all right. So we just came back from our vacation. How many had a really good time when they were on spring break? Wow. All right, good. So tell me, Eduardo, what did you do? Um, I went to the pool. Oh, he went to the pool. All right. Where did you go, Asia? I went to ride my llama with my grandpa, and I had fun. Oh, wow. That's really neat. Did you go somewhere? I stayed with my dad on Thursday and Wednesday because I can't see him that much because he's working a lot and he works all night. So I went to the mall and Action Air Jump and Sports. Oh, cool. That's nice. All right, guys, what did y'all do? I went to Florida and then I went to Louisiana. Oh, neat. All right, Braden, what'd you do? I went to Extreme Air. Extreme Air? Mm -hmm. All right, what'd you do? I went to Great Wolf Lodge. Great Wolf Lodge. Great Wolf Lodge. That sounds like fun. All right, what'd you do, Michaela? Slept in. Me too. <laughs> Who else slept in? I did. All right, Ryan, what did you do? I went to Pine Mountain. Pine Mountain. Wow, all right. You know what? Y'all are making me run, and you know my hip hurts. Let me see if I can slide through this way. I'm going to come over to this side. All right, here we go. Okay, Jace, what did you do? Played in the water hose. Played in the water hose. All right, Miss Nett. I went to Sop Choppy, Florida to Ocklockney Park. She, she made that up. <laughs> Can't make that up. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like a lot of fun. All right, Hannah, what did you do? I went to Florida and I found a shark tooth there. She went to Florida and you found a shark tooth? <gasps> How exciting. She found a shark tooth. Wow. All right, come on, guys, tell me what you did. Me and Cal went to the beach for one day. That's good. Went camping. Camping. All right, Jack. What, you know what? I saw some pictures of him. Um, didn't your mama ride a horse on the beach? How exciting. What would you do? We went to Outer Banks all week. Outer Banks. That's extremely cool. All right, what did you do? I went to Destin, Florida and got, go to the beach. I went to the beach. Went to the beach. There's a thing going here. Everybody went to the beach. I got to eat s'mores. Oh, hold on just a minute. I can't hear. What now? I got to eat s'mores. You got to eat some what? Oh, oh, my favorite. She got to eat s'mores. Raise your hand if you like s'mores. All right. I love s'mores. I'm going to do one more. Hold on. Hold on just a minute. I can't get to everybody. Let's see what Miss Mandy did. Miss Mandy went to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Oh, she went to the mountains. A lot of people went to the beach, and Miss Mandy went to the mountains. All right, I'm excited that everybody had a nice break. But now let's stand up and let's sing. So this is a new song, guys. This is a new song. All right, let's go, Mr. Tim.
hold on. Did everybody get that? Now you've got it. It's really good. It's in your head? All right, let's do it again. All right, Mr. Tim, it's easy. So let's try it again. Do that one over. I want to hear everybody. going to do my favorite song. All right, Mr. Tim, go ahead. Nothing is impossible.
morning. Oh, I sure do. Woo! All right. Who believes that Jesus is a superstar? Who believes he's our superhero? All right. Go ahead, Mr. Tim. He is our superhero. you to do. Um, I would like for you to give me your very best superhero pose. All right, so like I'm gonna get up here. So maybe you just like want to look like a boss, like and you're like, I've got no worries. I've got this. I'm standing firm. I always love it when um, somebody like jumps and then they go, Or, let's see, oh, um, let's see, Captain America, he's always way cool when he slings his uh, shield over his back like he's going to walk away like he just did something great. He like throws it over his back. And he's, <laughs> he's my favorite. All right, so I'm going to count to three, and you are going to do your favorite superhero pose. Are you ready? I don't think I'm limber enough, but I really want to touch the ground. All right, are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, 
Hey, act like you mean it. I don't know. I don't think I've ever heard a superhero giggle. No giggles. Do you see this face? We're serious. We're serious about fighting crime. That's my don't mess with me face. All right, have a seat. All right, have a seat, have a seat. Okay, so I have a question for you. Mr. Tim, you can go ahead and put up the first slide. Here's my question. Does everyone have a superpower? All right, let me give you my answer. I honestly, it's kind of a trick question, and if I've ever been your teacher, you know that sometimes I ask you a question that might be yes, or it might be no. You just have to kind of think about it for a minute. So, does everybody have a superpower? All right, raise your hand if you say yes. Raise your hand if you say no. Raise your hand with both hands if you're not sure. <laughs> okay, so I am sure that I have a superpower. All right, so um, let's see. Let me look at my things to make sure. All right, so Mr. Tim, show them the definition for a superpower. So here's what we're working with for our superpower. A superpower is the ability to do something you can't naturally do. So it's not something that you're like, you know, that you, you have to be taught or you have to, I don't know, it's just special. All right, so I pulled out some superheroes and I want us to look at their superpowers. So Mr. Tim, I think the first one, that's Superman. What's, the, what's that power? Laser vision. He can cut things with his eyes just by looking. I know that you think that maybe your teacher can do that at times, right? We give you the look. If you get the look, you shape up really fast, right? So, so Superman, he can also fly and he can also like pick up the world, whatever. He can also fly so fast that he can make the, the earth spin the other way, right? He's got a lot of superpowers. All right, so you need to stop talking and let me do the talking. All right, so Superman, though, the one that was the cute little gif that I found was his laser vision. All right, so then the next one is Captain America. The Hulk, look at him. He's putting that shield on his shoulders like he has done the work. Do you see that there's um, a marks on his shield? It's been a bad day, right? He has fought some super evil. So his superpower, Captain America... If you ask me, he might be my favorite superhero. He's definitely my, my favorite Marvel character. One, his biggest superpower is his integrity. He is always committed to doing the right thing because it's the right thing. But that shield is super cool too. So that shield, like, he can shield all kinds of, like, you know, attacks. And then he can throw it and it comes back to him. Right? I'd love to have something like that. I, I'm always losing my phone. If I could put my phone down and it would come back to me, I think I would put it in my back pocket like that. <laughs> All right, so um, Captain America has a heart committed to what's right, but he also has a super cool shield. All right, what's the next one, Mr. Tim? I think it's Spider-Man. All right, so Mr. Spider-Man there, he has the ability to spin webs and stick them to things and then swing on them. He can also walk up a building, climbing, or he could even climb down a building, right? I can't even touch the floor very well anymore, but he is like so limber. So that's his superpower, and he uses that superpower for good, right? All right. So we who are older than 20-something, this is our girl. All right, show the next one. Whose arm is that? She's a mom. That's Elastigirl, and I love Elastigirl. She's the Incredibles mom, right? So she's super stretchy, 
And she uses that for good. Like she was able to get her hand through a crack in a door. <laughs> Don't you just want to watch it again and again? Okay, sorry. So, <laughs> Elastigirl, she rocks a killer outfit, but her superpower, shh, I know I'm super stimulating, but hold it together. Her superpower is her ability to stretch really far, and it makes her be able to make her body into different shapes. I would probably have a smaller waist if that was true. So um, first grade brought their Bibles today. So Mr. Tim, before you put up the slide, I know that that's going to keep on going, and I kind of like that. But um, <laughs> can't say I'm, I just have to tell the truth here. Um, before you put up the verse, Mr. Tim, I want first grade, or anybody else that has their Bible, but I know first grade brought theirs. Would you look up Genesis? Chapter 1, verse 27. Genesis 1, 27. Go. I'm going to ask a first grader. Good for you, Joseph. He found it, though, really fast. Genesis chapter 1, very front, verse 27. <laughs> It's not in the hymn book. Genesis chapter 1, very first book of the Bible, verse 27. Why are you standing up? Sit down. Sit down. I want you to sit down. You got it. Yay. All right. Let's hear uh, Genesis chapter 1. All right, wait. I'm going to give you the microphone. Come a little closer to me. All right, here it is. Genesis 1:27. So God created mankind in his own image in the image of God. He created them male and female. Created them. God blessed them and and said to them, be, yeah. Okay. Hey, God. Do what now? <laughs> She's proud. <laughs> All right, so here it is on the screen in the NIRV version, and I love the NIRV version. It says, so God created human beings in his own likeness. That means God made us like him. Does God have superpower? All power comes from God, right? So we're made like him. It also says he created them to be like himself. He created them as male and female. So he made us special and he made us different. All right, so does God have a superpower? He has all superpower, right? So if I am made in, my, in God's image... Do we have superpower? It's a trick question, isn't it? All right, so um, I do have a superpower. I do have superpowers, the ability to do things that I, don't do, that I can't do naturally, and it comes from the Holy Spirit that lives inside of me. So um, Romans 10, Mr. Tim, go ahead and just put up the Bible verse. Romans 10, 9 and 10. I put some words in pink. It's kind of small. Can you see it? It says, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. As scripture says, anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame. That means we're winners. We don't ever go, oh, no, I didn't win. We become more than conquerors. So to have God's power living inside of me, I need the Holy Spirit. 
And the Holy Spirit lives inside of all those who have believed in Jesus. So it says that we say Jesus is Lord. We declare, that means to tell it really strong. We say Jesus is Lord and we believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead. And that's what we're about to celebrate for Easter, right? That's what our, all of our Easter songs are about. And um, the reason why we get a long weekend coming up because we're celebrating that Jesus came back alive. So if you do that, if you declare Jesus as Lord, you're not ashamed to say it, and you believe it in your heart that everything that's in the Bible is true, then the Holy Spirit comes to live inside of you. And the Holy Spirit is the one that gives you superpowers. So, um, I, let's see. Yes. All right, Mr. Tim, go to the next slide. So superpowers, when they're used rightly, are for fighting evil. So there are, we're, we're supposed to be the good guys. We're supposed to stand up against we, what we know to be wrong. So, um, you know, like Superman, his guy that he fights on a regular basis is Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor always somehow gets out of jail, and he causes more trouble. Um, and um, Lex Luthor is the only one I can think about right now. But uh, so I have some things that I fight against. Mr. Tim, look at this list. So this is what I fight against. I fight against selfishness that makes me just want to have my own way, do things like I like them to be done. Greed, a lot of superheroes or that are not superheroes but are supervillains, they're motivated by greed. It's because they want stuff. Mine, 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 gimme, gimme, gimme. And anger. So every supervillain always has a really angry kind of face. Or, or, um, like the Joker. He's got that really scary, ugly face. So these things, are you laughing because I made a scary face? I hope not. So, but those things, I can be those things too. It's not just bad guys that are selfish. It's not just bad guys that are greedy or that are given to anger. Those are things that we have to deal with ourselves. So when we have the Holy Spirit living inside of us, we have power over those things. So I not only fight evil when I see it around me, but I fight evil when I see it in me as well. So Mr. Tim, the, very, the next verse is the fruits of the Spirit. Oh, it might be a double clicker. There it is. All right, but here's our list of the fruits of the Spirit, the things that the Holy Spirit makes us like and these are our superpowers this is a list of our superpowers as believers in jesus i'm going to turn so i can read it better i don't read far away all right for the fruit of the spirit produces i'm sorry this is the nirv version but the fruit the holy spirit produces is love well if i'm more loving i'll be less selfish joy and peace it's hard to be angry when you're joyful and peaceful. It is being patient. I get impatient because of my selfishness. Um, kind and good. I'm not going to be greedy if I'm being kind and good. Um, it is being faithful and gentle. And my favorite one, having control of oneself. There is no law against things of that kind. So I'll be the good guy when I produce those things inside of me. So those are things that I can't do naturally. I, like if you ask me, um, I'm very quickly going to go, this is mine. No, this is mine. I'm, I'm pretty, you know, like I have to really make myself be generous. I have to think about it sometimes before... I answer in a way that is gentle. The Holy Spirit helps me to be something that I am not naturally. And that's what a superpower is. So we all have superpower. We have access to superpowers. We just have to remember 
to ask Jesus to help us during our day and to stop and remind ourselves of who we are. So when I do something selfish, I need to say to myself, that is not the way that I'm supposed to act. I am better than that. I should not act that way. God's given the ability for me to never have to be selfish again. I should try harder. All right, so then, um, I'm going to fight against greed, selfishness, and anger. So um, I want us to pray, and I want us to thank God for the Holy Spirit, because without the Holy Spirit, we would have not the power to control ourselves. We would just be left to be our rotten old selves. But with the Holy Spirit, we have superpower. We have the power to be a reflection of who God is and his likeness to this world. All right, so let's just pray real fast. Thank you, Jesus, for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for sending the Spirit to live inside of believers so that we will have the ability to do things that we don't do naturally. Lord, help us to um, use our superpowers for good. Lord, help us to fight the evil that we see inside of us, the things that we see that we know are not pleasing to you, but also the things that we see around us. Lord, we go to a Christian school where most of us are lovers of you. So Lord, I ask that you would help us to be an encourager to each other, that we would call out from each other the best, so that we would be an encourager to be kind, and we would be an encourager to have self-control. We love you, Lord. Amen. No. <laughs> All right, so I want you to um, strike your superhero pose. Up, up. I mean, it takes a serious face because we're not messing around with evil, right? All right, so you are the boss of your day and you're using your superpower for good all day. And the first thing that my class is gonna rock is a spelling test. And after that, they're gonna rock a math test because they're so smart. <laughs> All right, you're dismissed. <laughs>